with a 2K 5 megapixels live view, smart AI detection and notification, coupled with a 180 day battery life, and a head to toe view, the Tepo D230 S1 doorbell is a choice that you can consider for your home use. This is the Tepo Smart Battery Video Doorbell. It features a 2K 5 megapixels live view. It has got color night vision and you're able to see head to toe because of the ultra wide field of vision 160 degrees diagonal. You can have flexible placement with flexible views because it comes with different wedge choices to allow users to make the doorbell suit more placement scenarios. The battery life is about 180 day and there are flexible storage choices where you can save the recorded videos on the hub installed micro SD card or by using the Tepo Care cloud storage services. So let's unbox this doorbell and we will show you how it can be used. These are the items in box. Following the quick start guide, the first step is to charge the battery. Now use the USB adapter, which is a 5V USB adapter to charge the battery. When it is charging, you can see that the LED is solid amber. When fully charged, it will be solid green. Charge the battery before first use. This will take about 5 to 6 hours. If you want to use the doorbell while charging the battery, it is recommended that you purchase another battery for your convenience. After the battery is charged, you need to load it into the doorbell. So first, you may want to remove the cover by using the pin that comes in box and pressing on the pin hole. Remove the cover, load in the battery as shown. Then replace the cover. The battery is loaded and it is starting up. You are now ready to set up the doorbell using the Tepo app. The next step is to set up the doorbell. So we will use the H200 hub. Connect the power adapter to the wall socket and insert the cable into the hub as shown. Power on the hub. To set up the doorbell, you will need the Tepo app. So let's go to Play Store. Do a search for Tepo app. Install the TP-Link Tepo.
Once installed, open the app. Now we need to create a TP Link ID. Let's do that. Confirm password and sign up. We need to activate our TP Link. So let's go to our mail. So the first step on the app, you need to add devices. Tap on the plus icon at the top right hand corner. Select doorbells. Select D230. Now, you will need to add a hub before you can set up the doorbell. So let's tap on H200. So we have powered up our hub. Let's plug in the Ethernet cable. Go to next. Our phone is already connected to Wi-Fi. I'm already connected. The LED on the hub is already amber. Tap on already solid amber. Let's enable location. Allow only while using the app. Tap on already solid amber. It has found a hub. We'll call it Tepo Hub. Go to next. The custom location for the hub will put it as living room. Go to next. We'll use this icon. Go to next. The setup is complete. Select done for now. You can set up the local storage, which we will do right now. So we'll insert a micro SD card into the hub. Tap on, got it. Now, for the hub placement, we can connect it wirelessly. So let's tap on, I want to connect wirelessly. Select the Technology Tips 2.4 GHz network. Enter the password for your network. Once the password is entered, go to Next. Go to Next. Tap on, sounds good. Let's unplug the Ethernet cable. Next, let's add device by going on to tap on the plus icon. Select doorbells. Select Tepo D230. We have already powered up our Tepo device. Go to Next. The LED status is already red and green. Select the Tepo hub. We need to remove the back panel of our doorbell and press and hold the sync button for one second. Let's do that.
You can see that the LED is blinking green slowly. Let's replace the cover. Let's name our doorbell. We call it the Tepo doorbell. Go to next. The location is at the gate. Go to next. Let's select this icon. Go to next. We have configured our Tepo device and it's ready for use. Go to next. You can try the Tepo Care Cloud services. We'll skip for now. We have completed setting up our doorbell. The next step is to mount our doorbell. Select done for now. The next step, we will mount the doorbell. Now that we have set up the hub and the doorbell using the Tepo app, it's time to install the doorbell. There are several options. Option 1, you can attach the included adhesive to the back of the bracket and then stick the bracket to a clean wall before attaching the doorbell to the bracket. Option 2, which is what I would recommend, is mount to the wall. Use the template provided to drill two holes, then mount the bracket over the anchors before attaching the doorbell to the bracket. Now, there is a wedge in box as well. To install the wedge, after drilling the two holes, you need to put the wedge before attaching the bracket and then the doorbell. So these are the options to install the doorbell.